There's a problem right now on the PlayStation Store that's been around for a long time, but it seems to be getting worse on PS5, and that is the insane amount of shovelware, asset flip, uh, trophy games that are all over PS4. They've been around for a while, and now they're on PS5 with PS4 and PS5 versions, uh, but there's a lot to this, so let's talk about it. So let's just say it's a casual weekend and I want to go check out the new games on PS5 and so I start up the PlayStation Store and of course on PS4, PS5 and most storefronts this main page is going to be very valuable marketing space. Um, so of course Sony will showcase things like their current sales, uh, first party content like The Last of Us Part 1, but also third party stuff like FIFA 23 uh, or Grand Theft Auto, sponsored content right here, uh, Call of Duty, MW, uh, or Modern Warfare 2, and uh, typically these, you know, spots right here on the store are six or seven figure deals. It, you know, it takes a lot of money to be right on the main page for the PlayStation Store. Or sometimes it's mutually beneficial, so it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be a money exchange, but if Sony works out a deal with the publisher and they're getting something in return, you know, but the point is that's typically out of reach for a lot of developers. Um, but about six, eight months ago, Sony added this new horizontal row on PS5 called New Games, and this was a way for, you know, any developer to have a very brief amount of exposure on the PlayStation Store. I thought that was a really good idea, um, and I'm still glad glad that it's here, but, um, you know, recently a lot of people have been bringing up a problem on the store, which, you know, it's been around since PS4, and that's all these kind of, you know, not so good games. So. Um, I'm doing this right now off the cuff, and we'll just take a look at what's on here. Um, so this was recently published on PlayStation 5. Um, this one's 25 bucks, but we've got Highway Driving, Snow Journey is $1.49, The Jumping Nuggets Turbo, $3, Jump Jump, Nick and Kit's Adventure, uh, Nick and Kit Nick's Adventure, Organic Engine, The Giraffe G, the Jumping Pizza Turbo, we've got a, an ongoing series here, Gun Ducky Industries Plus Plus, Universal Flight Simulator is $10. Uh, this is where it gets questionable, right? Because we normally associate a higher price tag with a game that is not going to get finished in like, you know, five to 10 minutes and hand out a platinum, right? So who knows what, what that game is um, or how good it is or if it's worth uh, the 10 bucks. Uh, the Jumping Nuggets, uh, wait, is this the PS4? No, that's PS5. So is this the PS4 version? Ju Wait, <laughs> they're both PS5. This one's Turbo. Okay. Both new, by the way. They were just just uh, published. Interesting. This one's $1.49, though, so I don't know what the difference is. Uh, Pickle Run, Abyss, uh, Crazy Chicken. This one is, uh, I guess the series has been around for a long time. All right. Um... <laughs> There's Roll the Cat, I might be interested in that, but you see the point, right? Um, and they've got PS4, PS5 versions, um, which normally there's a label right on it, so you don't have to have it completely cluttered up with these uh, separate versions. But um, yeah, for the most part, um, that's usually what's on here. And then we can uh, open up the main new game section and get a, a wider view of this. So same deal, the Jumping Sushi and this one's also, this is the non-turbo edition by publisher Thigh Games. Okay. Yeah, it's, so th this stuff has be been around for a bit. And uh, recently I noticed that, uh, well, you know, three, four days ago, there was a thread on uh, the PS5 subreddit and it gained a lot of traction. It was uh, something where it said the PlayStation Store is sad and, uh, you know, 900, 1,000 comments of everybody going over what's been uh, a problem for a very long time is all these very small scale shovelware s games, asset flip games. And um, we have to remember that it's been around for a long time in terms of this problem, but it's not exclusive to PlayStation in particular, although it does certainly have a, a lot of uh, scrutiny when we're talking about PlayStation. A lot of these games are from Steam, but it's multiple storefronts, Steam, outside of video games, this happens. 
you know, you can go to Amazon and I've, I've mentioned this before, but like Amazon's always a place where is often it's plagued with a lot of really bad products because there's so many people where, you know, Amazon is an open door platform. Most people can sign up and they can become a private FBA seller, no problem. And they can just buy something in bulk from, you know, China or wherever else they want to get the products from, uh, not really modify the product whatsoever. And then, you know, flip it on Amazon. And if they can get some good traction based off of, uh, you know, early reviews or handing out product and Amazon's been pretty good about trying to fight that lately but if they are able to catapult that that item very high up in terms of the rankings you know the number one like knife set or a spatula on Amazon could be a very cheap uh, piece of junk just as an example this problem is everywhere with any platform that really opens up um, and takes anybody that wants to sell a product or software or whatever else um, but to really sort of uh, I guess have a bird's eye view on the problem in general there's actually a pretty good website called platprices.com and this is where it'll show you the the price of games and how long it will t it will take to get a platinum on it um, pretty good resource if you're into, into that sort of thing but they've also got a page where it just shows uh, publishers focused on easy trophies and I'm not joking they can really show you uh, all the different publishers where it's uh, sometimes you mobile uh, Ratalaika games I think a lot of people are, are familiar with that one and it shows you 186 games with 188 versions. It would take you anywhere from 150 to 280 hours uh, to get all those platinums. But across the board, you can you can have an account that has 500 to 1,000 platinum trophies off of you know a bunch of very easy games. You know it's a it's a weird problem because um, Sony of course wants to welcome independent developers. But I've always found that, uh, well, one, you don't have to buy this stuff, although it certainly is a problem when they clog up the store and they keep you from trying to find things organically that you might have otherwise not have found to begin with. But uh, number two, where do you draw the line on this kind of stuff, right? Because it may seem somewhat obvious of, you know, what kind of games maybe shouldn't be published on the store because it's very obviously a, you know, a cheap game that has uh, striking similarities to one that was published uh, 12 hours ago or something like it there's maybe some very obvious ways to look at it uh, from Sony's point of view but when it comes to <clears throat> what is a a process that sees so many submissions you just know that if you start really tightening up and applying some quality assurance as in not so much standard QA but the practice of looking at a project reviewing it and saying you know what we don't want this on our store if you start doing that you're going to start having these gray areas of games that you know arguably should have a shot at being on the store because again you know, it's somewhat obvious with the the price points right you see a game that's 99 cents and we just associate that right away with a game that is kind of falling into this category of something that clogs up the store and is cheap and not fun or this that and the other um but there's been plenty of you know games that are five dollars which uh is not a massive difference and those games are awesome and fun and they're on their own and it's, and it's a developer where it's their only game that they published it's just you know there's a lot more gray areas and if they were to <clears throat> go about trying to do something about this i think you're going to see a lot of you know stories pop up about developers trying to get published on the store and them running into headaches and problems with sony and uh them being accused of you know not being up to the standard of the playstation store or something like that right it's all theoretical but that is a scenario i could easily see being played out and um well to sort of uh, i guess close up this whole thing here we've also had a game pop up on the playstation store in terms of a listing so it's not live just yet but it's called press x for trophies from game achievements limited and uh yeah a lot of people notice this one and it says under the games and legal info uh the basic synopsis for this game it says uh, and i quote here games are often made to be challenging well at least they used to be these days things are getting a little easier. Press X for Trophies is a game made to help spread the word of how things should change and how the world of gaming is changing. It's slightly ironic and the story is told through its trophy system. Um, <clears throat> and that's the that's the thing. A lot of these games do sell because some folks like having those those platinums unlock right away. And uh, that, that also begs the question of what's necessarily wrong with that. Um, I've always been very neutral on the topic, right? Because I know there's a serious gray area. If Sony were to do something about this, um, I always ignore these games and I just try and follow other resources like 
well, you know, Twitter and YouTube and word of mouth and this, that, and the other to try and find find out about games that um, might pique my interest. Um, and that usually is the number one way that games uh, gain a lot of traction nowadays. Uh, when it comes to organically surfing storefronts, uh, it, it seems like that's always been a problem since PlayStation 4, PS3, and again, these problems stem far outside of just PlayStation platforms. Steam is notoriously bad for this stuff, and some folks enjoy looking through this kind of stuff and uh, actually buying these games and playing them. It's just, there's, I think, way too many layers to this problem. I don't know if there's really an easy solution or a solution at all for the time being. Because <clears throat> again, I, I think if Sony were to do something, it might not really be in their best interest, even though, you know, one could argue that they, they should do something about it. It uh, takes me back to that first Platinum Trophy challenge I did in 2019, if you remember that, where towards the end of that challenge, I had to eventually lean on those easy games. And, you know, by and large, I'm not, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not proud of those Platinums. They are certainly cheap and easy, and I actually really enjoy going for, you know, really difficult games and things that I genuinely enjoy and I wanted to play without trophy hunting. But, um, <clears throat> you know, outside of that, Playing those games were not like a bad experience. Like the Midnight games were, were pretty cool. Uh, the Twin Robots actually took like an hour and a half, two hours. Um, the Massage game was super short, but like it had a, it had a certain amount of charm and it was humorous. Like I don't want to see those games get rejected, but obviously there is a, a line to be drawn because what we're looking at right now in the PS Store with these you know 49 cent, 99 cent games with a bunch of regional uh, regional variances, so you can get five, six platinums in under an hour. Like sure, it, it may seem obvious that games like those should be rejected, but. I'm just I'm sure that if Sony were to to put in some some kind of system where they start rejecting games based on something like that uh we would have cases pop up where developers are uh you know turned away when maybe they maybe they shouldn't have uh, for the time being, when it comes to Sony and all other open platforms, it's kind of a mutually beneficial thing where as long as the developers can get paid and who knows, maybe they can go on and you know publish a product that they're um, proud of. Maybe they can go ahead and do that. But Sony, of course, wants to make their own money. Same with all platform holders. And uh, as long as people are buying, that's um, something where Sony and these developers may not really have a problem with that. And uh, neither party is going to be interested in doing anything about it that's also one way to look at it as well so for the time being i'm not sure if there is really anything that is uh, that is or will be done uh, anytime soon thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you haven't just yet please consider subscribing for the best playstation news reviews and updates that are here on youtube you can also follow me on twitter at mr ryan and that is it i will see you all in my next video you take it easy